Good morning. This is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And this is an absolutely beautiful day out here today after Memorial Weekend rain. Uh, and uh, it's perfect temperature. Just beautiful, great time to go for a walk. Well, I'm on my walk and uh, I'm going to turn off the camera and as God starts talking to me, I'll turn it back on and let you know what it is He wants me to share today. Okay, so today God's wanted me to share with you about words and He gave me a little revelation which makes me hungry to know more, which I'll share about later, but basically He's sharing with me that um, words are words are spiritual substance and we are spirit living in a physical body and we were created with words from the dust of the earth and everything on this earth was created with words uh, which is uh, superior to physical the physical world so words are how the kingdom of God is run words is how uh, uh, we give orders uh, to the spiritual realm to line up with the Word of God <clears throat> that's why when you command somebody who's dead you command life into their body or you command spirit of death to go from somebody who's dying that's why those words are so powerful because in the spiritual realm words are the container that is filled with the power or is like a seed that's filled with the power to produce what it is you're saying the harvest is if I say be healed in Jesus name the seed of being healed is in those words which produces the harvest of a whole healed body and so um, words are not just words as we on uh, in this world sense make them out to be but words are spiritual substance that have power that create this world that reshape it and reform it that's why it's so important what you say and um, he was showing me today that the sword of the spirit is words and I never really saw it this way what he's saying is the thing that cuts the devil and his demons is the word because the word is a, a spiritual thing that works in the spiritual world so he said uh, part of our armor is the sword of God and the sword is what attacks the enemy and anything that the enemy does and that's why the sword is so important words are so important and then he said that uh, there's a scripture that says that bring take captive every thought and bring it into the obedience of Christ Jesus and when your obedience is fulfilled be ready to punish every disobedience and I often thought well what does that mean and today God was showing me that that means that you take the sword that is you take the Word of God and you apply it you speak it to enforce devil's defeat by the stripes of Jesus I have been healed I don't go by what I feel here smell taste see I go by the Word of God I use the sword I have been healed in Jesus name and I just that's that's what my battle tool is is the word believing God over the devil because greater is he who's in me than he who's in the world and then there's another scripture that when Jesus comes back he will be fighting with the sword of his mouth and with the brightness of his coming and there's a scripture that talks about praise and worship which is the one I happen to have with me which is I uh, Psalms 149 awesome Psalms you need to study that but it says that <clears throat> talks about praise and worship and how uh, how it's like a sword and how important it is um, and what it does is it's high praises of God in our mouth is a two-edged sword in our hand and that executes vengeance it punishes it, it binds kings and nobles with fetters of iron and it executes judgment so your words of your mouth should be the same words that Jesus said because they are full of power and um, to pull down strongholds so be careful of your words be wise of your words use God's words not your own words and my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God